Yes, my viewers and subscribers, with all the crime wave hitting Jamaica and tightening its hold on the western part of Jamaica, religious leaders call for new strategies in crime fight. If it's your first time on my channel, don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Stung by the out-of-control murder tally, religious leaders in western Jamaica are calling for a change of strategy to deal specifically with crime in that part of the country, in particular, St. James. Reverend Darwin Thomas, chairman of the St. James Minister Fraternity, has suggested that this tragedy include modifying the parameters of the zone of special operation. St. James has been grippling with an increase of shooting since the start of the year with nearly 300 people murdered in the parish. Reverend Thomas urged that the focus should now turn to the large crime figures and suggested that the geographical boundaries of the zone or special operation be extended to other types of neighborhoods. There might be a great force to deal with from those who are firing the guns, who give it to them, where do they get it from? I'm not, I'm suggesting not just the inner city. Could it go into some areas where they do not think crime reside, maybe upscales area? I know I'm treading on dangerous water when I say that. The guns that these youngsters have, they can't purchase them. They can't even purchase the bullet. We are targeting the wrong people, said Thomas, who was a guest on RGR. Many layers. This sentiment is being endorsed by Reverend Everton Jackson, chairman of the Peace Management Initiative Western. He believes the arrest of the big crime figures is what is missing in St. James. The executive arm of the criminal network these are the persons who recruit, who finance, who strategize, who dispatch. In the fight against crime in St. James, we have to target not only the producers, but also the organizers and those who are financing the operation. For me, it is becoming more and more complex because there are many layers, he said. Focus on the youth. Meanwhile, Young unemployed person who have been singled out as needing immediate intervention. Thomas urged that this requires short, medium, and long-term measures. We need a special youth stimulus program. Look at the unattached youth, the unemployed. Have more dialogue with them. Just as how we have crash programs sometimes for political benefit. We could use a youth stimulus program to see how we can get as many of our youth as possible. To see if we could erase some of the anger, the tension, resentment that is built up in some of them, Thomas had it. This is true. We need to find a program in Jamaica that engaged these young men. Most of these young men who grew up with our fathers and see what we can do with them. Give them something to do. We can't just allow them to be going around. What I realize is that a lot of young youth, when they're not going to school or even when they're going to school, they would rather go out and get themselves involved with companies. But if we can find a way of getting them into a program, not when political parties need some vote, they're coming to get young youths to do some stupidness for them. Engage them in things that, that can stimulate them. Help them to, to focus. Help them to realize that they are, the, they are the future of the island. Teach them how to interact with women. Teach them how to get over when a woman has left them or, or their girlfriend has left them. How to deal with these tension that is bottled up in them. Teach them how to love. Teach them all this kind of thing. That can I am agreeing with the, with the church, but the church also need to have programs in the church that involve the youths.
A lot of parents are in church. Grandmothers are in church. But the grandchildren are not there. And these are some of the things also too. My viewers and subscribers, lend me your views on this. Share this and let somebody hear it and find a way how we can assist the young youths. Because the gun is not the answer. And they are coming after us because they don't know anything otherwise. This is Jaycon TV out of Zurich saying unto each and every one of us, walk in peace, my friend. Shalom.